Bitcoin operates as a peer-to-peer -peer network. This means that everyone who uses Bitcoin is a tiny fraction of the bank of Bitcoin. With paper money, a government decides when to print and distribute money. Bitcoin doesn't have a central government. With Bitcoin, miners, using the help of mining rigs and special software, are able to solve math problems. These miners are given an incentive for a certain number of Bitcoins in exchange. Since miners with mining rigs are required to approve Bitcoin transactions, more miners mean a more secure network. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel How It's Made. In this video today, we take an inside look into how Bitcoin mining rigs are made. But before jumping into the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. Origin of Bitcoin Bitcoin was first made out of the crash of the 2008 Great Recession as distrust of banks and their role in the monetary system grew. An individual person or a group of people going by the name Satoshi Nakamoto published a white paper to address the centralized control of money and the trust needed in holding citizens as cash. In the classic financial system, transactions can be flipped or meddled by third privacy violator parties and transaction prices can add up. Bitcoin was introduced as a way to transact without using a third party. Rather, the Bitcoin system uses cryptographic evidence to support the integrity of the network instead of relying on third-party banks and other organizations. On January 3rd, 2009, the blockchain was founded when the first block, called the Genesis block, was mined. The first trial transaction took place about one week later. For the first few months of its presence, it was available only to miners validating the Bitcoin blockchain, says Chetan Chawla, assistant professor of entrepreneurship at North Central College in Naperville, Illinois, who analyzes cryptocurrencies and blockchain. At this point, Bitcoin had no real financial value, says Mark Grabowski, an associate professor at Adelphi University. He quotes a primer on digital money. Miners who use powerful computers that solve complex math questions to uncover new bitcoins and verify that previous bitcoin trades are legitimate and accurate would trade bitcoin back and forth just for fun. It would take more than a year for the first financial transaction to take place when a man in Florida negotiated to have two Papa John's pizzas valued at $20 delivered for 10,000 bitcoin on May 22, 2010. That transaction essentially launched the initial real-world price or value of Bitcoin at 4 Bitcoins per penny. Fast forward to today and the price of Bitcoin is nearly worth $400 million. In honor of this key moment, cryptocurrency fans and supporters call May 22nd Pizza Day. In the early days, the first trades with Bitcoin were negotiated on internet forums with people bartering for goods and services in exchange for Bitcoin. The value of Bitcoin was originally arbitrary. Then, in 2011, miners and coders began to build other networks like Ethereum and Litecoin and began to enhance the code behind Bitcoin's blockchain, adapting it for different users. This wider base of applications brought in more people, which contributed partly to the increase in Bitcoin's perceived value. There was also an increase in the use of Bitcoin as money once select businesses started to accept the asset alongside traditional currency. Once Bitcoin became public on exchanges in 2010, it became easier to buy, sell, trade and store. Thanks to these exchanges, Bitcoin has a dependable price against the US dollar. It even has been officially accepted as legal tender in El Salvador alongside the US dollar. How is a mining rig built? Cryptocurrency mining needs the right hardware, software and a mining pool to mine more coins with simple applications and less power. It takes a lot of knowledge, guidance and patience to initialize the mining rig. To start off the journey, the main components that are behind the mining rigs are the GPU and CPU. GPUs are the most crucial part of the whole mining rig setup as it's the component that generates the profits. GPUs is widely used because GPU is used in gaming laptops to enhance performance. This GPU is used in Bitcoin mining because the gaming computer graphic processing units solve complex mathematical equations and it is relatively fast at a cheaper rate. MSI Gaming GeForce GTX 1070, Asus Dual GeForce GTX 1070, EVGA GeForce 08G B45173KR GTX 1070 are some of the most used GPUs for Bitcoin mining. Now let's take a look at how these rigs are built. A frame is first made to keep all the hardware of the mining rig intact in one place and is known as a mining rig frame. It can be easily built or one can buy it from a store. After the frame is built, next in line comes the motherboard. The motherboard is installed in the CPU system. 
When it comes to cryptocurrency mining, the efficiency of any system is estimated by its power consumption. The more efficient a motherboard's design is, the less heat it will generate and the longer a rig can run without overheating. The less energy it consumes, the more efficient a mining rig is. To minimize its heat, an additional fan can be placed on the motherboard. After placing up with the motherboard, next up is the RAM. A normal RAM is used in the mining rig to boot up the system and keep it running while it mines the cryptocurrency coins. These RAMs are placed in the slots that are mentioned for the RAM. It is now placed on the mining frame and is now all set to work. Next up, a power supply is used. Since cryptocurrency mining PCs and rigs have a lot of graphics cards in them, they often require really powerful power supply units that can handle multiple graphics cards operating at their maximum load capacity. This PSU is placed near the motherboard and is connected to 24-pin connector into the motherboard. The CPU's 8-pin power connector is connected to the motherboard. This is located closest to the motherboard. Now USB risers are attached. These risers are almost the perfect solution for mining rigs. It allows optimal use of existing hardware and allows GPUs to be cooled easily. One additional benefit of this design is that fans can spin at slower speeds, allowing for an overall quieter mining rig. This riser is assembled with the PCIe X1 and is connected to the ports of the motherboard. The final step is to attach to GPUs. These graphic cards are placed firmly on the USB risers. PCI 6 Plus 2 is now plugged and connected to the connector holes of the GPU, depending on the number of connectors. The graphic card should be connected to the main PCIe slot that is connected to a monitor. Lastly, the mouse and keyboard are connected and the power switch is connected to the motherboard and the system is turned on. If it boots, it's a sign that the rig is working fine. When everything is correctly installed, the BIOS message shows up on your screen. Top 3 Largest Bitcoin Mines 3. Bitriver Russia Bratsk In 2018, Russia opened its largest data center called Bitriver in Bratsk. The location for this Bitcoin mine was picked very thoughtfully as it has two key factors you need for mining Bitcoin, freezing temperature and low electricity prices. The average temperature throughout the year in Bratsk is only 3 degrees Fahrenheit, which definitely helps to cool all of the GPU power needed for the process. Bitriver has roughly 20 Bitcoin come in per day, helping Russia be one of the most powerful countries in Bitcoin mining. Number 2. Gigawatt United States some of the most powerful and successful Bitcoin mining companies in the US, Mega Big Power and Gigawatt, have one special thing in common. Outside of the fact that they were both multi-million dollar projects, they were both created by one of the most famous Bitcoin owners, Dave Carlson. The first one mentioned, Mega Big Power, was a success that was particularly strong in the great boom of Bitcoin in 2014, so why not keep going? In 2017, he decided to launch a new venture called Gigawatt, which became one of the biggest Bitcoin mining companies this planet has ever seen. Number 1. China China leads the world's Bitcoin mining and production of video cards for cryptocurrency mining. About 70% of all the mining activity is done here, and 3% of that is mined in one of China's small cities. The mining farm in Dalian, named by its location, is the most profitable farm globally with 4,050 bitcoins mined per month, which is currently about $150 million, but might be worth a million more or less in a minute. This city is a special place in the bitcoin mining industry because its environment, air quality and conditions are relatively better than in other Chinese cities. Farm owners in China have one big advantage over the rest of the world. What is it, you ask? Well, the Chinese government not only allows mining but also encourages it by reducing electricity charges for the energy-hungry farms and the delivery of equipment is cheap or even absolutely free. That's it guys, let us know if you found this video informative in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next one.